Brock Day Howard, 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 Brock Day
from Collinwood Boulevard, that is. And they pull over, uh, I think, a, a one car or two car of bros. And then the car I was in, it happened to be me, uh, the brother car, Chaquat, and the other dude, which he's, you know, used to be in the uh, art camp, the Arizona camp, and now he's in jail for the, you know, the murder he had done or whatnot. And we had stopped, got out, and was at a park across the street from where the bro was. Just as dirty, made sure everything was okay, making sure uh, the bro was straight. They had got pulled over and keeping an eye on them and whatnot. Making sure, you know, if anything happened or whatnot, we would be there to, uh, to attend to them brother's needs or whatnot. All right. And, um,. We happen to be, so we were just observing, right, inside the park across the street from, not in the way, not impeding the officer, doing what they were doing to the bros or whatnot. We were just pretty much way out the way, right? And then, um, a whole bunch of cops came down on, on bike, and they just pretty much hopped off the bike and told us to put our hand behind our back and whatnot, and... We were trying to figure out what was going on, but they knew that we were with them, all right? They they knew, LAPD know who we are. They know who all the bros are in the camp, all right? They've been doing profiles and all that and whatnot. That's another thing that you have to be, uh, know what you're involved in, all right? Know that this is a serious thing that you're involved with, all right? You are an enemy of the state. All right, by us uh, standing out on the street, picking up the Bible and uh, cursing the devils out, spreading out these prophecies, and bringing all these scriptures and whatnot, we're enemy of the state. Okay, so back to the uh, story. So um, they had us all like put our hands behind our back, and, and pretty much gave us a ticket for. Um, I forgot what it was, but it was, it was bullshit, alright, so we had a, um, a, it was just us four, alright, not the bro that got pulled over or whatnot, us four that was in the park, we had to go to court, alright, we had to go to court, and we had a, you know, we were about to face the judge, but I want to bring this scripture out because the guy that's not in the truth no more that did that, that murder spree out in Arizona, all right, he was, he had no faith whatsoever, and us three, me, Karia, and Chaquat, right, we all was like, in the spirit, all right, this is, uh, this is, uh, let me look at Luke 21. Luke 21 and... Uh, who, 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 who. It's 12. All right, because his whole thing was, oh, what are we going to say? What are we going to say? We got to come up with something to say. And we were like, fuck that, you know? Like, we, we know what the scriptures say, all right? If we have to face the judge or whatnot, we really know that the spirit of Yahweh shall try to be on us. How cock a dog could be on us to what to say at that time? We don't need to premeditate. We don't need to rehearse what we're going to say or how we're going to react. None of that. Just go in there with faith. All right, and that's what we were trying to uh, instill in him. All right, that's the scripture, Luke 21 and um, and 12. All right, not saying we this is what we're actually going through, but this is kind of like a prelude. All right, but in that time we're approaching very soon, this is going to be happening to some of us. All right, 
the Lord only let we were to hope will let that we endure to the end, all right, and stand strong and hold on to the faith of the how about you try and not give up. All right. It's uh, Luke 21 and 12. But before all these, they shall lay their hands on you and persecute you, delivering you up to the synagogues and into prisons, being brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake. All right. So they're going to do all these things for the for the name of Yahweh Chow Shai's sake. Not for us, for the name of Yahweh Shai's sake. All right. Before judges, city officials, governors, all that. All right. And it shall turn to you for a testimony. All right. And it could be turned to us for a testimony. All right. Then we get put in that situation. We're going to be testifying to Yahweh uh, Shai. All right. It's Luke, uh, Revelation 19. All right. Tell you that the spirit of prophecy is the, uh, the testimony. Uh, the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. All right. 14. Settle it therefore in your heart. All right, with your mind, not to meditate before what each y'all answer. So you ain't got to worry about what you're going to have to uh, respond to them. All right. So you have already made up in your mind. All right. That you don't have to worry about what you're going to have to say. All right. What you're going to rehearse. All right. You don't have to stand in front of the mirror and, and, and you know, try to know. Everything is going to flow in the spirit. It said, uh, settle it therefore in your heart, not to meditate before what you shall answer. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom, which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay, nor resist. All right. So, back to the story. Like I just read, that time is approaching soon. Just like the buddy, uh, the in the New York camp was explaining his uh, dream. All right. How the military man just came through, all right. And then, if y'all better haven't heard the testimony of the elder apostle, all right, back when they got him up during the time of 9 11, all right, they, them elder apostles have faith. So, those are an example that we're given, all right, and also men of the Lord in the scriptures as well, okay. So, uh, back to the story. So, we're up there, uh, so we finally get in inside the court courtroom. No, I think this I think this be right before we get into the courtroom. I think the the DA or I forgot who it was, but basically they asked us like we all here for it? and then we told them and then we're gonna, uh they pretty much dismissed it. So it, it it came out to where we didn't have to stand before the judge to defend ourselves or or, or, or or whatnot. All right, it, it got to the point to where we got our case dismissed. All right, uh, and nothing on our record. All right, so it was like cow plow, how about cow shy? So we got to the car, we were excited, man. And that's just the proof that um, how about cow shy gonna take care of his. All right, that's why uh, scripture in Roman eight, there's none that can deliver. Uh, that can take out of my hand, all right? So you were uh, on the elect, you're going to be taken care of all the way to the end, all right? So whether you martyr for this or, 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 or get beamed up to the chariot, you still stand firm to your faith in the name of Yahweh Chow Shai, man. Everything else is going to be taken care of, all right? And like the quick testimony I was just sharing, it's it, like we, we, we have faith that we will be taken care of. And we have faith that this is all... According to how about our side plan and, and what he want done, and at the end of the day, our case uh, got dismissed. We didn't even have to stand before the judge. All right, we didn't even have to set foot inside the court in the actual courtroom and stand before the judge or none of that, man. And we were super excited, you know. And that's pretty much. I just want to share real quick, you know, on uh, that quick testimony, and hopefully that. Um, it's still a faith booster to y'all brothers out there that haven't, you know, we all haven't really went through nothing yet, but that's just like a little prelude of what to come, all right? But what to come, it could be, he's talking to come down with that great wrath, like in Revelation day, 
all right? Because he have but a short time. So we got to keep on pressing firm and, and keep pushing forward, all right? Because, hey, we're in the year of hastening the day of our glory. How will our shine return, all right? And with that, Shalom.